In this video, I will compare the Intel Core i7-1165G7 and Intel Core i3-1315U highlighting their differences, and then provide a conclusion to help you determine which one is the better choice. Both are low-power CPUs designed for thin and light laptops and they have their own strengths as well as weakness. So let's look at them. This Core i7-1165G7 was released before two-year the release of Core i3-1315U. While the Core i7-1165G7 features four performance cores, the Core i3-1315U has two performance cores and four efficiency cores. Additionally, the Core i7-1165G7 has eight performance threads, whereas the Core i3-1315U has four performance threads and four efficiency threads. Having more performance core and threads is better and it helps Core 1615G7 to handle more tasks simultaneously and effectively. In terms of performance cores, the base clock frequency of the Core i7-1165G7 ranges from 1.2 to 2.8 GHz, while that of the Core i3-1315U is 1.2 GHz. The higher base clock frequency of the Core i7-1165G7 may result in better performance under normal CPU loads. For the performance core, the boost clock frequency of the Core i7-1165G7 is 4.7 GHz, while that of the Core i3-1315U is 4.5 GHz. The higher boost frequency in the Core i7-1165G7 may result in better performance under heavy CPU loads. The L1 cache of the Intel Core i7-1165G7 is 96 KB per core, whereas that of the Core i3-1315U is 80 KB per core. The larger cache in the 1165G7 could be advantageous for applications heavily reliant on accessing small amounts of data. Both processors share a 1280 KB per core L2 cache size. In terms of L3 cache, the i7-1165G7 features a 12 MB shared cache, while the Core i3-1315U has a 10 MB L3 cache. The substantial L3 cache in the 1165G7 is beneficial for applications that require working with large datasets exceeding the capacity of L1 and L2 cache. Both of these processors support up to 64 GB of RAM. The Core i3-1315U supports DDR4, DDR5, LPDDR4, and LPDDR5, while the Core i7-1165G7 supports DDR4 and LPDDR4 types of RAM modules. It is evident that the frequency for these RAM types in the 1315U is higher than that in the Core i7-1165G7. Both processors support integrated graphics, and the graphics frequency for the Core i7-1165G7 is slightly greater than that of the Core i3-1315U. The Core i7-1165G7 operates at 1300 MHz, whereas the Core i3-1315U runs at 1250 MHz. Additionally, the Core i7-1165G7 has a more powerful GPU than the Core i3-1315U. Both of these processors lack support for ECC, making them potentially unsuitable for critical systems such as workstations and servers. While both processors support PCI version 4, the Core i3-1315U provides 20 PCI lanes, whereas the Core i7-1165G7 supports 16. Having more lanes can be advantageous for connecting additional devices using PCI slots and achieving faster data transfer rates. Both processors have a maximum operating temperature of up to 100 degrees Celsius. The TDP of both processors is configurable, with the Core i3-1315U ranging from 12 to 15 watts and the Core i7-1165G7 ranging from 12 to 28 watts. Considering the price, the Core i7-1165G7 is higher than that of the Core i3-1315U. Now, let's delve into benchmark comparisons. In both Cinebench R23 and Geekbench V6, for both single-core and multi-core performance, the Intel i3-1315U outperforms the Core i7-1165G7. My suggestions. Choose Core i3-1335U if you require a processor for basic computing tasks, such as web browsing, document editing, and other lightweight applications. Choose the Core i7-1165G7 if you need a processor for more demanding tasks, including photo and video editing, software development, and light gaming. This much for today. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel. Also click on bell icon to never miss any update thank you.